Yo, it's a long release weekend. Some stuff dropping today, some stuff dropping tomorrow, some stuff dropping Saturday, and some stuff dropping Monday. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is The Heat Check. Today is the lightest day of the weekend when it comes to releases, and it comes with a little LA love via the Nike Cortez Ultra More. These definitely have a Forrest Gump vibe to them though, that perforated upper would never work on a shrimp boat. You can grab these over at Finish Line for $100. Now for Friday's releases, it looks like we have a mix of the old and some of the new. On the new side, Adidas is dropping the NMD in vintage white. The TPU pods add some USA vibes in red and blue and should be a nice pickup for the summer. Those will cost you $170. On the flip side, Nike SB is dropping the seat cover pack that includes the Dunk High Premium, the Janoski Max Premium, and a Zoom Janoski Canvas Slip-On. All three pairs are black with beaded texture similar to the seat covers of vintage cards. It's crazy. Those slip-ons are actually pretty dope in my opinion. Prices for the pack are between $100 and $120, and all three pairs again release on Friday. Saturday, it has a good mix of things from Adidas and from Nike, so let's start with Kevin Hart's collab with Nike on the Nike Free Train Instinct. Kevin actually has two pairs dropping, each inspired by one of his kids, the red pair for the passion of his son and the blue for the thoughtful demeanor of his daughter. Both pairs will cost you $140. On the basketball side of things, Adidas is dropping the USA colorway of the Crazy Light Boost 2016 for James Harden. The feedback on the performance of these has been really good. You can grab these for $130. Speaking of Adidas, they're finally giving us colored boost which should make ultra boost fans very happy the uncaged version of the shoe will arrive in triple red triple black and triple white look for those to hit finish line for 180 dollars Rounding out Saturday's releases, Jordan Brand is dropping the oxidized green Air Jordan 14. Now these keep it mostly white on the upper with black as a contrast, and then they throw in that oxidized green to help spice up the color a little bit. Those will cost you $190 over at finish line. If you want to wait till Monday to cop your kicks, you actually have a few choices when it comes to kicks courtesy of Nike Basketball. To kick things off, the Flyknit version of the Nike Hyperdunk 2016 is set to release and from my perspective looks really dope. Review of the shoes have been really good and you can grab those for $200. If you're more of a LeBron fan, the USA inspired colorway of the Soldier 10 releases on Monday as well. I have yet to actually play in these, but I have heard some good things about these and I have heard some great feedback. Those are going to cost you $140. Keeping the USA theme alive, Kobe Bryant gets some love on the Kobe 11. Now this is the Flyknit version of the shoe and that one's gonna cost you $200. And of course, you can't forget Kyrie. Nike has given the new NBA champion some USA love as well on the Kyrie 2. And you can grab those over at Finish Line for $120. The brands went really hard for the USA theme today, or for the weekend I should say. Uh, not mad at those uncaged ultra boots either, pretty dope. So folks, be sure to check below for info on any of the kicks that I talk about today. Feel free to like and hit that thumbs up button. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. All right. Wow, sorry guys. So uh, let's see, I don't know what this is. Oh wow. Very special guest, uh, Mr. Leo Chang, who is the designer of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time 